otherwise known as vinegaroons. The common name vinegaroon is likely derived from these arthropods' ability to squirt acetic acid, a substance that smells strongly of vinegar, from their rear ends. Hmm, I thought our dog Mary had caustic farts. The vinegaroon's acid-spraying ability is used as a means of defense against predators, such as mice, skunks, raccoons, birds, and other arthropods, including scorpions and vinegaroons. Oh, that reminds me. Vinegaroons are arachnids like spiders and scorpions, and though they bear the same name as this latter example, vinegaroons are not scorpions. They're also not spiders, just as an FYI. Currently, there are thought to be between 100 and 200 species of vinegaroon, but always remember this can change with new information. Vinegaroons are found in tropical and subtropical areas of the Americas, Africa, and Asia, and they seem to love pretty much any environment equipped with easy-to-hide-under debris. Vinegaroons live underground in burrows they construct with their pedipalps, aka those terrifying grabby things at the front of their faces. At night, they'll emerge and seek out prey in the form of slugs, worms, other arthropods, and sometimes even young invertebrates like lizards. Though their eight or more eyes might seem impressive compared to our measly two, vinegaroons have poor eyesight. Instead, they utilize their tail and first pair of legs as a means of sensing the world around them. These sensory appendages can specifically come in handy when vinegaroons are on the lookout for mates. In courtship, vinegaroons seem to gently caress one another with their whip-like legs and tail, though they may also aggressively grab each other with their raptorial pedipalps. The male will deposit a spermatophore, which the female will take up to fertilize her eggs. She'll carry the fertilized eggs for a few months until she creates an egg-carrying sac that she'll hold under her abdomen until the eggs hatch, at which point the babies will crawl out and cling to her for dear life. After they molt for the first time, the babies will begin dropping off their mother and venture off into the wilderness. Some species, like the giant whip scorpion, may live to be more than five years old. Speaking of giant whip scorpions, these vinegaroons are some of the largest in the world, and can reach lengths of more than three inches, not including their tails. It might seem like spraying drops of acid would be an easy way to subdue meals, but vinegaroons really only use this mechanism for defense. This spray can actually cause a burning sensation on human skin, and you sure as heck wouldn't want to get it in your eyes. Besides that, though, these guys are relatively harmless, and some people even keep them as pets. For more facts on vinegaroons, check out the links in the description. Thank you for watching, and give a thumbs up for more animal fact files.